Hi there! Today we are going to learn how to play the game Monster Sock Factory. This video is divided into four chapters. The story, the box, the gameplay and the impact. Are you ready? Yay! Get set go! In a far away fantasy land of Timis, there's a valley full of cute little monsters. You can find monsters with one leg and others up to nine legs. You work at the local sock factory, picking and dispatching sock packets for these monsters. The faster you can pack and dispatch the orders, the more you win. Can you take on the role of the workers and win the best worker reward? When you open the monster sock factory box, you will find 9 batches of 30 sock packets, 1 batch for each monster, 52 order cards, 20 plus minus cards, and the rule book. Before starting the game, give each player 9 batches of sock packets, one for each monster. Each batch should have exactly 10 sock packets. Shuffle the order cards and keep them face down in the center. And we are ready to play. The two most important questions to any game are how to begin the game and how does one win it. The youngest player will make the first move. From then on, move in clockwise direction. In order to win the game, a player needs to completely pack and dispatch any six batches of sock packets. To start the game, the first player will pick the top card from the stack of order cards. She will place it face up next to the stack. Let's say that she gets an order to pack 16 socks. She will get to packing the socks. But wait, before we do that, let's understand how to pack socks for the given order. This is a sock packet. A three-legged monster needs a set of three socks. The sock packet with the image of three-legged monster contains three socks. Similarly, a packet with the image of six-legged monster contains six socks and so on. Here in case of first player, she needs to pack sock packets in such a way so that a total of 16 socks get packed. She can pack 8 sock packets for the 2-legged monster or 4 sock packets for the 4-legged monster or just 2 sock packets for the 8-legged monsters. Each combination will allow her to pack 16 socks. Let's say she decides to pack 8 socks packet for the 2-legged monster. She will pick one sock packet and count the feet and say 2. She will add one more sock packet and say 4. In this way, she will continue to count the socks in each packet till she has packed 16 socks. When it's done, she will say 8 times 2 is 16. Pack. The game will continue in similar manner till one of the player packs 6 complete batches for any 6 monsters. Also, to make things simpler, we have shown shadows of monsters on the order cards. This serves as a hint to young learners. For example, card 24 has shadows for monsters of 8, 6 and 4. So you can use this order to pack socks for 8, 6 and 4 limb monsters. Remember, this video is just a short version of the game rules to get you started quickly. There's a lot more information including more gameplays in the rulebook. Kids will master 10 core math skills while playing Monster Sock Factory. You will notice that kids will practice multiplication for every order, not just in their own turn but for their competition too. That is 8 times more than in class. Learning math while having fun is the fastest and the most effective way to master math. Play now. Play more. What are you waiting for?